Good morning and welcome back to Cooking with Carol Diane. This morning um, I'm going to make what's called an ambrosia salad for Easter tomorrow. I'm going to have two videos today. I'm going to show you my salad and then when I get all my mess kind of cleaned up, I'm going to go right into making my dessert. I hope you're all having a great morning this morning. It's Saturday morning in Colorado. Gorgeous day outside. I brought my little friends with me. I pulled them down the other day. Anytime I'm in a really good mood or maybe not so much of a good mood, I bring out my little singing flowers. This is one of them. I hope you can hear it on the camera. Hello! up with the morning dew. I don't know if you remember that little tune. <clears throat> what is so funny is that I named my dog Daisy May, and I thought that was kind of appropriate. And the other one I've had for many, many years, this one I really enjoy. <laughs> the Glenn Miller band. Yep, Glenn Miller. I used to watch his movies, oh my gosh, when I was clear back in junior high. Those two make me smile in the morning, so I hope it made you kind of start your day smiling too. You never know what I'm going to come up with. Okay, so for the ambrosia salad, you're going to need, oh, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight ingredients. And it's basically a fruit salad. salad. Ambrosia means it, it's a, a food of the Greek and Roman gods. And it's something extremely pleasurable uh, to the taste or smell. And that's kind of what I was after this morning to go with my ham dinner tomorrow, is some kind of fruity flavors in there to blend in with a nice ham. So that's what we're going to make today. And it's going to be very, very simple to do. So the first thing that you'll need, um, and I put down the measurements because usually I just kind of throw everything in a bowl. So the first thing you're going to need is one can of the mandarin oranges. I absolutely couldn't find a can of the mandarin oranges, so I went ahead and got the, the little fruit cups that you buy. And one can would equal uh, 15 ounces, but since I don't have 15 ounces drop it on the floor. Um, this makes 16 ounces, which is fine. And you don't want the juice, so what I'm gonna do is just take off the little caps here and pour it into the bowl with a little uh, strainer so that I get my 15 ounces of the mandarin oranges. Oh, I like mandarin oranges, don't you? They're just so tasty on just about anything. Just about anything, just opening them up in the morning, you know, for breakfast with something or a snack during the day. They have such a good flavor to them. They really do. Okay, so that's my 16 ounces, but that's okay. It's not very much. We're going to put that in the bowl. Then it's a one can of, tw of a 20 ounce pineapple chunks. So you're going to need the pineapple chunks. And again, we do not want the juice. So we'll just drain off that juice. Get that out of there. Okay. And one jar of the uh, maraschino cherries, which are these right here. No juice. And because these have a few of the stems 
on there. I'll have to take those off right quick, which I apologize. I didn't realize this one had the stems on it. That's okay. That's all right. Right now, what I smell are the wonderful smell of the cherries and the pineapple blending together. These cherries have such a great fragrance to them. So I'm already off to a good start with the Greek and Roman gods of the pleasurable smell. I certainly have that this morning. Sometimes when you go to the store, you don't always get, you know, what you're really looking for on the shelf. It's either pretty well picked through that you don't get the quantity that you want, or as this, didn't seem to have them already without the stems on there. I said that's okay. Most of them. There's just a few here that has stems. Okay. So that's added into the bowl. So now we have the mandarin oranges and the pineapple and the cherries. Already looking colorful, isn't it? Next, it calls for three quarters of a cup of yogurt. Now, you can use any brand of yogurt. Uh, if you like the Greek yogurt, you know, you can certainly use that. I just don't care for the taste of it somehow. Uh, so I like just a regular plain yogurt. And we're going to go ahead with three quarters of a cup of the yogurt. Put that in there. Simple, simple recipe, really, truly. You could have this during the summertime for a meal would be great. Okay, now we need one cup of shredded coconut. You buy the shredded coconut in bags like this. They're usually over there by the chocolate chips and uh, in, in your flour and sugar area, the baking area of a grocery store. One cup of that. Another good cup. Okay. Fresh coconut. Always have your ingredients nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. Let's slide this over here. And then it calls for. Um, Chop pecans, and that's kind of um, optional, but I am going to chop some up today. Um, these are the pecan halves, and I, I don't want a great big half in there. And you don't need very much. So I'm just gonna take my little processor here and stick it in here. Chop these up right quick. Pour a few in. I don't need that many. Probably about half a cup, if that. Stick that in there. That's looking pretty good. Then it calls for um, a cup of mini marshmallows. Just little mini marshmallows. I suppose if I wanted to be really festive for Easter, I could have got the colored mini marshmallows would have added uh, to this. I know my granddaughter, she's coming for Easter tomorrow and she would have got a big kick out of that. But for this purposes, I'm only, I'm only going to put it the regular. Okay, now that's all in there in the bowl. And basically what you wanna do is just kind of start folding that a little bit and getting it incorporated really mix together your ingredients get that yogurt all over the uh, the fruit and blend it into those pecans it does smell good I'll tell you that right now it really does smell really nice okay then you're going to take one full container of cool whip 
and my container is an eight ounce container of the Cool Whip. And we're gonna put all that in there. I let mine sit out at room temperature this morning so that it would be easily uh, pliable to put in this bowl this morning. And again, you're just gonna fold your ingredients together so that everything is mixed up real nice. Because I'm not having this until tomorrow with my Easter dinner, I'll be refrigerating this overnight and that's gonna help out tremendously because it's going to uh, really get all of those um, flavors in there real nice. And that's what we want. Tomorrow, I'm having my um, baked ham, like a lot of you do. He fixed a nice ham on Easter, and that's what I'm going to have. Mine is, is quite large ham this year. <laughs> it's a 19-pound ham, but that's okay. I'm going to have that, and I'm going to have my scalloped potatoes. It's kind of a tradition that I have those at Easter, and uh, a nice vegetable. Um, I'm leaning more towards two because there's going to be people here that, you know, they like carrots and they like uh, beans, so I'm probably going to do both. And then my ambrosia salad and my dessert, and that's going to make a nice little dinner. Okay, then I'm going to take a pretty bowl. Always put your um, uh, food products in something pretty to be placed on the table. Presentation is pretty much the key to serving anything at uh, any meal. Uh, this bowl is always so heavy for me. So we're just going to put it all in here. And that's my ambrosia salad. You could always find a one cherry to kind of go on top here. <laughs> See how quick and easy that was? Now my salad's all done. I don't have to worry about it at all for tomorrow. I could have done this first thing in the morning, but by the time I get up and get my ham started and uh, get the scallop potatoes going, because they take a little bit, um, I don't want to fool with making the salad. I want it all ready and done. So that's my salad for today. And uh, I will be back with the part two of um, Easter, finishing it all up with my dessert. But for this morning, I hope you have enjoyed making my simple little salad and listening to my cute, little flowers that get going in the morning because they get me going in the morning. Have a wonderful afternoon. Catch you later. Bye-bye now.